History made at the 145th Kentucky Derby. There's always history at the Derby, but not like this. The horse that crossed the finish line first moved down in the order of finish because of this. Jerry Bailey, take us through. Maximum security. The the horse that crossed the wire first in the pink silks. He's running in lane two right now. You'll see him shift out through that little lane of water to the right-hand side of the water, impeding number one, War of Will, with the white blaze down his face, and in turn, impeding Long Range Toddy, the horse directly outside War of Will. Illegal in racing. The horse on the outside, the ultimate winner by disqualification, Country House, was clear of the fracas to his inside. He wasn't bothered at all, despite what Flavian Pratt said at one point after the race. He was the beneficiary of what maximum security did to War of Will and Long Range Toddy. Well, let's uh, unpack a few things here as we have Country House winning this derby. Luis Saez, the jockey of maximum security, said, the crowd got loud, the horse heard it. They're all young horses, all three-year-olds. Reacted and comes out. Your reaction? Couple things. We noticed the horse shifted to his right running lead prematurely. They usually wait till they're straightened up in the stretch. Maybe because he heard that crowd, I'm not ruling that out. He's relatively inexperienced, the horse. It could have happened, but it still doesn't forgive the fact that he shifted lanes and impeded another horse. When a horse is on his left front leg going around the turn, his left lead, centrifugal force, they're leaning to the inside. Mm -hmm. When they change to the right lead early before they get out of the turn, it causes them to veer to the right. And that appears to be what happened with maximum security. And it nearly, very nearly, when you see those replays, caused a pileup. No doubt. And because it even slower. It was really oh, stop your heart there. For War of Will's front leg went in between the hind legs of maximum security. We saw what happened in the Kentucky Oaks at the start where, where a, a, and, a horse and jockey went down. It could have happened at the Derby. And Long Range Toddy was pinched between Country House, who was on the outside, and War of Will, so he was in peril as well. Did the right thing happen? You hate, to, you hate to see the best horse. By the letter of the law, time. yes, the right yeah. thing happened. But maximum security, make no doubt, was the best horse in this race. Absolutely the best horse. But when you look at it from the standpoint that what Luis Saez did or what maximum security did, what they did together at the top of the stretch, nearly caused a disastrous situation, then you can't really complain about it. Because if you let decision. that go on, Mike, it's the Wild West out there. It happens all over the track then. So that keeps the jockey, quote, in a lane, Absolutely. so to speak. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And then you have Country House. We have not talked much about the horse yeah. itself. An incredible 65 to 1 story. A long shot 10 years after mine that bird. His biggest problem through the spring was getting out of the starting gate. He started slow, would finish fast, never quite enough, but good performances. But I don't think anybody expected no. this good a performance. A horse that won for the second time in his career. Can you believe that? Is the Kentucky Derby winner. What will happen at the Preakness? Who knows? Talk about it, wide open Derby. It is going to be a really wide open Preakness when we get to Baltimore in two weeks. But Country House wins the Kentucky Derby. Leg one of the Triple Crown.